If an alternating voltage is connected to a plate capacitor, current flows. The current depends on the dielectric medium between the plates, for example, air or media. A change of insulating material causes an increase of the dielectric constant and increases the capacitance of the capacitor and thus also the current flow. In addition, the current flow may be affected by the distance and size of the plates. These characteristics of a capacitor constitute the basis of the measuring principle of capacitive level measurement. The electrically conductive tank wall and a probe inside of the tank form a capacitor, the capacity changes of which are used to determine the level. In capacitance measurement, electrically conductive liquids and non-conductive liquids are differentiated. Measurements in conductive liquids, which are normally water-based liquids, are carried out as follows. The medium forms an electric short circuit from the tank wall to the probe insulation. Therefore, the measurement effect is only formed by the probe insulation capacitance gained from the media. This provides stable measurement which is independent of the tank geometry and the dielectric constant of the medium. If the level rises in the tank, the area of the capacitor increases proportionally. The measured capacitance change is used to determine the level. The capacitance change in non-conductive liquids, which are normally oils and solvents, is caused by higher dielectric constants of the medium in relation to air. The non-conductive medium forms an additional capacitor to the tank wall connected in series. It determines the total capacitance. If the level rises in the tank, the area of the capacitor increases proportionally. The measured capacitance change is used to determine the level.